Hi all, it's Jack from Preact here and today we're going to be looking at Preact's Split Invoices solution. The Split Invoices solution makes it easy for us to be able to split out payments. For instance, on an order, if we don't want to send a final amount, we can split this out into multiple payments. Let's jump in and take a look at how it works. I've just jumped into this record and as you can see we're currently on an order. Everything here is the same as it would be out of the box on an order. We've got our name, we've got a product in here, and we've got 10 of these Samsung PBXs. We've got our total amount down here as well. And over here you'll notice that we've got invoices. So there's currently nothing in here, but once we use our payment terms to start splitting out our payment into different invoices, they will all populate in this subgrid. If you look over on the left hand side of the screen you'll see we've got our split invoices tab here. At the top we've got payment terms and this is where we can set out all of our different payment terms. We can have a number of payment terms that we offer all set out in here for instance this three month plan or we can go ahead and create new ones on the fly by clicking the new payment terms button. For this instance, we're going to go ahead and use the new payment terms button and we're just going to go in and make a very simple two payment invoice. Clicking on the button then, we're then brought into our payment term page. Here we can give it a name. We can choose what it's going to apply to and we can either split these 10 items out by quantity, so the quantity of items so we could have five PBXs and then pay for the next five next month or we can do it per amount as well. Once we filled that out we can click on save and you'll see we're brought up with this grid down the bottom here. Now all we need to do is click on a new payment term lines and we can start adding in what payments we want to happen. So for the first one we're going to want 50% of the payment and it's going to be due upfront or immediate. Next up, we can give it a name. Now we've given it a name, we can go ahead, save that payment term line, go back, and now we can add our second payment. Come in here, add our percentage of payment, which is going to be 50%. When is this one going to be due? So after our first payment has been paid, do we want this to be X days before, X days after, or do we want to put in a manual date for this payment? Well, in this case, we want it to be 30 days after, as it's going to be 30 days after our first payment. We can now give it a name, save that record, come out. And as you can see, we've now got our payment term. We've got two payments. We've got our first payment of 50% up front. And 30 days later, we've got our second payment of 50%. If we now go back to our order, we can choose our payment term. We can choose when the first payment is going to be. We can save the record. And at the top of the page, we can go ahead and click on Create Split Invoices. This is now going to show us the invoices that it's going to create. And you can see we've got our two invoices here, 30 days apart. Each one is 50%. We can now go ahead, click on Create, and that's going to create those two invoices for us. You can have many more payments if you wanted to, but for this example, I've only gone ahead and created two. Now that that's created them, I'm just going to click on the refresh button, and as you can see, those two invoices have been created. Clicking into one of these invoices is exactly as you would expect an invoice to be. From here, you may want to connect this into a finance system so you can automatically integrate and pull through when things have been paid. Or alternatively, you may just want to handle everything within Dynamics. The Split Invoice solution is just one of many included in Preact Solutions Hub, available as part of our all-inclusive managed service, Elevate 365, or through our dedicated Solutions 365 subscription. Head over to our website to find out more.